Yeah, you know, Bill, a lot of people may have been planning a trip down there or they have relatives or friends in the area and uh, wondering where this is going to impact the most. Well, it impacted the Florida Keys this morning, and that's probably the, uh, some of the more significant uh, winds and rain that we will see as the storm continues to move off to the north. Let's take a look at some of the peak wind gusts that we've had, 70 miles an hour at the Key West Airport. Uh, a couple of the keys and lighthouses there uh, with gusts up to around uh, 60 to 65, 67 miles an hour. Uh, in the inland, uh, there really hasn't been a lot of wind yet. I checked Tampa. Their peak gust has been 36 miles an hour. That's uh, something we see here in Grand Rapids about every three weeks. Here's a look at uh, what we see in terms of radar. There's been some heavy rain with this system, uh, four inches plus at Key West. But most of the heavy rain now is offshore. And uh, as it continues to move off toward the northeast, uh, it will take some of that heavier rain onshore, especially north of Tampa. Here's a look at the track for you. Uh, you can see the uh, hurricane coming on shore, probably north of Tampa right there, and uh, it could be a, a very minimal hurricane or a tropical storm, and you can see it moving up into Georgia and then the Carolinas. An interesting uh, note to pass along, uh, this afternoon there's been more tree damage in New York State from severe thunderstorms than they've had this afternoon from Elsa, the center of which right now is still mainly offshore.